everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. Today we're going to explore a style by John Renault that I haven't really reviewed yet. This one's called Aaliyah Petite and it's in the color Eclair, which is 24BT18. So Aaliyah is a beautifully layered bob cut uh, that's just short to mid length. A little story about my history with Aaliyah. I bought a regular cap size Aaliyah uh, back when I first started to wear wigs full time. And I, I think I really liked the style, uh, but it was very thick and dense and it had a ton of permatease like right here above the ear. And I remember I just couldn't love that wig. I hadn't met a wig I didn't love yet really, um, but this one I just couldn't love. And I can remember I used Aaliyah to see if I could thin it out, you know, what could I do to make that style work for me. I ended up throwing it in the trash because I thinned too much. I really made the mistake of thinking that I could alter the style when really the style was coming from the permatease and not all of the density. So I'm really excited to try Aaliyah again. And this time I have, a, I'm a little wiser, I'm a little more experienced, and I'm absolutely in love with this little style. 24BT, otherwise known as Eclair, is a light ash brown with medium gold blonde highlights. This is not the rooted version of this color. The rooted version of this exact color is called Shaded Mocha. That's 24BT18 S8. Due to the heavy highlighting on this color, it does appear that there might be a little bit of regrowth there at the root. Let's take a look at the specs for Aaliyah. The front pieces here are going to run right around nine inches, so about two inches below my chin. The crown is about 10 and a half inches. There's an eight inch nape, and then there's some layering here on the sides. So again, I went ahead and did my measurement. Overall, I take the soft measure tape from right there at the crown, and I stretch it all the way back to where uh, the hair ends. And that's right around 12 to 13 inches. That includes this flip. So if I stretched it all out, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than that. Aaliyah weighs just over three ounces at about 3.3 ounces, features a hand tied temple to temple lace front and a full monofilament top. Let's go ahead and linger on those lace features. I think it's well done. The root is not drastically dark there, and the root and the knots seem to be medium to fine. And then with the monofilament top feature, you can basically part it wherever you want and still get the illusion of scalp no, no matter where you part it from the top. Aaliyah just has the most beautiful light texture to it. Uh, the typical John or no fibers at about a medium denier, but they're very feathery and light textured. So I would say that the density is, is average to light and it does have a nice feathery action to it. Doesn't feel heavy or dense at all. Now, unlike the first Aaliyah that I experimented with years ago, I think they've perfected the permatease on this one. On the old one that I had, there was this thick band of permatease right around the middle and at the nape and it just made it puff out here at the sides. And with my face shape, I really feel like I need some heart height on top with the heart-shaped face and more of a slim profile here at the sides. So let's talk about the permatease. So you'll find some permatease all around that monofilament top and some right there at the crown. Although it's not a true big thick bump it, it does give you a nice profile. And then you will find a significant permatease above the ear. And that wraps around the back. And surprisingly though, there's not much right here above the nape. Um, it does not give you that rounded, thick approach to the style. But it does prop it up nicely. So I'm not hating this permatease. I think it'll be a great amount and all the great, greatest places to, to hold the style long term. I love the shaggy layers of this short, uh, short to medium length 
textured bob cut. It's almost like a little bit of a shag. You've got a little bit of flippy ends here. Here is the Alia Petite, the inside of the cap. Now the Petite cap is made specifically for measurements under a 21 and a half inch circumference. However, that's not the only measurement that's affected when, uh, when you buy a Petite cap. So it's important to know your measurements when selecting the right size. So the also, also the measurement will be a little bit shorter from the front to the back also a little shorter from ear to ear. I'm a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. This cap fits me like a glove. There's no bagginess, there's no gapping, and there's plenty of coverage at the ear tab. Um, one thing that I probably will do is just experiment with the part a little bit. Again, we've got that mono part to work with. This will just give you a sense the featheriness of the fibers there. So if you want to change the part, you could take right up to the edge of that monofilament top if you wanted to create more of a, a drastic part. And when you change the part, you also change up that style a little bit. So if you're looking for a different way to wear a style and you're not quite sure what to do, try changing that part and get an ear tuck despite the fact that there is some permatease above that ear. I would secure it with a clip. And you can also take and do an under tuck as I taught you before. Just go ahead and section off the front piece of that hair, bring it under, and secure it either behind the ear or with a clip. And that will give you a lot of flexibility for task work and things during the day. And continue gathering it from the sides until you reach the crown area. And then take a medium size claw clip and secure it right there at the crown or just below. Pull out a few pieces here at the front, just to get a very natural hairline. That's big and poofy, isn't it? But, and, and you can adjust how big and poofy you want it, but isn't that a cute off in the face look? This style is long enough that you could get a wee little ponytail. Or a low little faux bun or something there. Pull some down out of the sides. This has been a review of John Renault's Alia Petite in the color Eclair, which is 24BT18. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.